Bass Cat fans, Michael here from Bucks Island, standing here with Mr. Bill Mayo. Uh, we took this Cougar Hybrid that just came in, the 203 Hybrid uh, from Bass Cat, and uh, went out and put it in the water. Bill, what are your thoughts on uh, how did it, how did it, how does it drive? How did it ride? Um, obviously, uh, you're a bit of a Bass Cat fan. I am. I've had uh, 11 or 12 of them, and this this model is really unique in the fact that. Um, it has a champion hull, takes rough water really well, handles really well, corners really well, comes out of the hole uh, very unique, uh, sits down like that, but that's some of the characteristics of the champion 203 hull that it has under it, running surface. Everything else is bass cat, uh, but this boat right here, if you don't mind sacrificing five, six miles an hour uh, for a super smooth ride in rough water, this is the rig for you. It's really fun to drive. I uh, had a ball today. You know, wish we could have spent more time in it, but you know, still runs low 70s and, and you know, curbs really well and takes rough water. I hope we were able to demonstrate that. So nothing not to like about this rig, especially if you're a bass cat fan. All right, so what makes this a Cougar 203 hybrid is it's a, on a Champion 203 hull and a Champion running surface. Everything else is a regular bass cat. A lot of people like Champion boats in the fact that they take rough water really, really well. It performs great, sacrifice a few miles an hour speed for the way it cushions and blows in rough water. In addition to that, it turns like it's on a rail uh, handles, handles really well and comes out of the hole like a rocket ship. When it sits down, it doesn't backwash at all. So all those things are features of a Champion 203 hull. So if you're interested in a point and drive boat that you don't have to balance on a pad at 78 miles an hour and you're satisfied with 72 miles an hour, this is the boat for you. When we're talking about the two Cougars, the only thing that's different about this boat is the hull and the running surface. Uh, the regular Cougar is a high 70s boat. This is a low 70s boat. Other than that, everything we discuss going forward is the very same on both of them. So this is a removable rear lid and it comes off really simple and it makes it super easy to access your batteries. Uh, swap out a pump, run wiring. Again, it just with one bump, you can remove this lid. Uh, it's a really, really nice feature. In addition to that, uh, talking about access, so they've incorporated a small access point. If you like to use uh, power poles or any kind of anchor, then you have a way to access your power pole pump as well as your live well screen and filter. Uh, it even has a flush out valve for your live wells. Uh, if you don't use that, it's just extra storage. Super simple, but it makes it really, really nice. It's a great way to access uh, your power pole pumps. Uh, they have a giant triangular lid to get into the live wells. The reason that they don't put the latches on top is because they feel like the latch absorbs heat and transfers it into the water. So they came up with this design right here. Uh, so it, you know, keep your live well water, maybe just a degree cooler, but, but it's still an advantage. Um, there's storage between or beneath both seats, carpeted storage beneath the seats. 
uh, which is really nice, just in addition to extra. Um, has two insulated coolers, but this one's really neat. It has you know, a place for your phone and, and other accessories. In addition to that, has a, a giant cooler in there also. Quick commercial interruption. Gotta brag on Bucks Island. We just found out we're the fourth largest bass cat dealer for 2023. Super excited about that. But the whole point of that, we've got inventory of bass cats to take a look at. And of course, we are more than happy to custom order and get you in whatever you want to get you the boat that you need. So back to the rest of the video. Okay, so new for 24 is the redesigned dash cockpit area. And you can put a 12 inch unit uh, flush mounted in it. That's new for 2024. Uh, this configuration is obviously a Yamaha, but you know, if you did Mercury, it would be, you know, the Mercury gauges as well. Uh, you have your instrument panel here, which you've always had, uh, the steering wheel. Um, on all your premium models, they come with a um, place to put your cell phone. In addition to that, it has a USB port under there. And I'm, I'm six foot two and stretched out. My legs don't even touch the back of the console. So that's a real, real nice advantage. If you like a hot foot, uh, there's plenty of room under here for a hot foot with your legs still stretched out. Also new for 24, uh, they have a light here where you can see if your bilge pump is on or not. Uh, they just added that this year. So if, you're, if you have your bilge pump on in manual or auto mode, then this little light uh, shows up right here so you're not as prone to leave it on for an extended period of time. So on their rod lockers, you can get the divider in it if you like. Very spacious, you know, eight foot plus rods. Um, you got the bulletproof latches on them. Those latches are great. This big compartment right here, you know, holds your net and it's got a place for tackle trays. Uh, obviously this is, you know, designed for a, a third seat. That compartment is very similar to this one and you can also add the, the rod divider in it as well. Uh, this is additional storage uh, for tackle trays. It has the dividers in it. What I like the very most about the Cougar deck layout is the day box. And, and you can put your, your dies in here. Uh, the great thing about, about a day box like this right here is you don't have to walk to the back of the boat to open lids forward. So conceivably you can be standing on your padded deck and reach down and get to your your trailers, your shaky heads, any of your plastics or your dies right here without having to go back to the middle of the boat and work your way forward. So while standing on your padded deck, you also have a carpeted insert right here. And the reason for that is, is like myself, I like to stand all the way forward on the front of the boat uh, to fish if you like to skip and pitch. But for those that feel more secure a little farther back, you have two places here for your pro pole. So you can take your carpeted insert out and move your foot pedal back if you're more comfortable standing farther back. Or you can have it in place and stand all the way up on the nose of the boat. So in this application, they only have one graph. In addition, it has a forward facing sonar, but myself and most everybody else runs two or three units and this big old splash well, there's plenty of room for multiple units up here has a, a little storage area right here in the splash well, which has a drain, you know, for your plastics or dyes or whatever. Uh, they all, all the premium models come with a battery tender uh, and it's on the new Damascus plate right here. And there's real ample room right here for 24. They've redesigned this with an aluminum shell. And then your other uh, switches are over here, which are easy to get to when your trolling motor is deployed. All right, guys, so that does it for our walkthrough of the Cougar 203 Hybrid. If you are looking for more information, feel free to drop any questions you've got in the comments. Certainly encourage you to reach out to any of our sales team and we'll be happy to answer any questions, get you more photos, more video. Uh, we'll get you live on, on FaceTime or anything else that you, you want to, uh, to get more information on this boat. Of course, as always, you can head over to Bass Cat's website and read more about uh, the differences in uh, the Cougar 
uh, and the other models that they have. One thing we don't like to do is put a price on the internet because you may be watching this video five years from now trying to find out information and as we have seen pricing is all over the place. So I hate to sound like a sales guy but you can drop a comment in, reach out, uh, let us get you a detailed quote on this boat or any other boat that we've got in our inventory. Just want to highlight real quick this boat has come in with a Yamaha 250 show. If you've watched any of this stuff from Bucks Island, you obviously know we're big fans of the Yamahas. Uh, we normally order these Bass Cats in with a Mercury. Uh, the other thing on this boat to note is it's decked out with Lowrance uh, electronics, uh, trolling motor and graphs. Uh, and like any boat that you see at Bucks Island, we can swap all that stuff out. At the end of the day, what we want you to do is go to the water in the boat that you want with the equipment you feel is going to help you catch more fish. All right, if you've made it to the end, thank you for hanging in there. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like or subscribe button. Check out some of our other videos. But thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.